So today we were judging the AR Emerging Architecture Awards with Odile Deck, David Ajay and Peter Cook. The judging was very surprising because at first, you know, when you're when you're sort of faced with a sort of sea of boards, it's it's a little bit daunting. I think it was good this year. I, I enjoy the other two judges and we were very quick when it needed to be quick. As a jury, they were ruthless and they talked a lot about something that they called resistance. He has to have um, to be a resistant, to be somebody who is able to say no. In a media saturated world, I think it becomes harder to, to find the quiet in one's own voice and to have the confidence to follow that to create unique works. Immediately when they came in the room, they had identified that they were interested in what became, uh, in the end, the winning project. But when you came in the door, there it was. You knew that was going to be something that was going to stay in there. And we immediately go, came to these photos, to these panels, and it's really, I don't know why, because this is just a staircase, but the staircase is really interesting, and it was the only one. For me, um, the question's about, is it, is it a sculpture? And what was very clear was that it wasn't a sculpture. It was actually programmatically a way of using elements of architecture and conceptual philosophical ideas about architecture, the notion of the labyrinth. Um, as a way of creating social play between adults and children. The explanation, the text that explained why it was this strange stare, the, the sociological thing, the thing of the parents and the children enjoying a certain kind of social game, that then that did it, that was it, you know, game set and match. The jury whittled down over 250 entries down to 15 finalists. And it turned out in those 15 finalists, uh, one architect was represented two times. Um, they eventually ended up being the highly commended project. That intrigued us. Clearly there was a very intelligent person involved. What is interesting is that we chose this one and we chose another one and, this, and we didn't know that it was the same architect. And this architect, because of that, that we never heard about also, is somebody that will go very, very high, because he's a very good architect. Both really showed the emergence of a, of a new voice, um, of a very interesting architect who is really coming to the height of their power, understands their uh, palette and their context, and is able to kind of marshal the, uh, the forces that they need to create very powerful Projects. But what is interesting too is all of them are not usual task or not usual project by architects. This is the way that the new generation is inventing his project, inventing his way of doing architecture, inventing new by new type kind of project, installation, a playground, a nest. So this is really, this is the world of today and tomorrow. Um, I think it's interesting that of the final projects also several of them are to do with escapism or they're to do with recreation or they're to do with installation. The winner and the commended, the highly commended, we found unique voices. We felt that we've, these were two characters that we're definitely going to see in the, in, in the years to come.